How time flies. My burns are almost healed now, so I should be ready to take back the kitchen tomorrow. You've really gone above and beyond these past few days. Last day today. Here's hoping we get through it without incident. Uh, why does Paimon feel like you just jinxed us again? <sighs> we made it all the way to the evening. It ended up being a pretty smooth day after all. Maybe it's because we've gotten so experienced at running this whole thing. We've come a long way since our first day on the job, haven't we? Hmm. Back then, we were struggling to remember who ordered what. But everything's a piece of cake now. Yeah, but who would come by this late in the evening? Uh, actually, now that Paimon thinks of it, Lenny and his siblings came around about this time the first day, didn't they? Traveler? Paimon? Fancy seeing you two here. Amber? And you and Mika, too! Are you here for dinner? Why so late in the day? We just finished an escort mission for a merchant caravan. The original plan was to make do with some rations for this evening and continue our trek north towards Stonegate. But Captain Eula brought up the fact that none of us have eaten Liyue cuisine for quite some time. We thought we might as well swing by the inn and see if we can still order something. Ooh, so this is Eula's treat, huh? <clears throat> We've been eating the same rations for the entire trip, so I simply thought it was high time we had ourselves a proper meal. Do you have a problem with that? Good question. What should we get? Hmm? Wait a sec. Why are you taking our order? The Traveler's been filling in for the chef here. You've come at just the right time. You'll be the last customers to enjoy his cooking before the original chef takes back the reins. Wow, really? Good thing Eula suggested we come here. I wouldn't want to miss this. So, what shall we get? Hmm... I'm not as familiar with Liyue cuisine as I used to be. Mika, Eula, what are you in the mood for? Anything goes. I'm just looking forward to trying the honorary knight's cooking for myself. I'm sure it'll be a great learning opportunity for me. Hmm, something small, I suppose. We have to hit the road again after we eat. Beyond that, anything goes. Wasn't it your idea to come here, though? This is like getting blood from a stone. All right, guess it's up to you, Amber. You name it, we'll cook it. Huh? Then I guess... Eh, I don't really mind either. Anything goes. Ah! I'm sorry. I really can't think of anything off the top of my head. I mean, I could pick from the menu at random, but I'd feel more comfortable leaving the chef to choose. Oh, one thing. I know I said I don't mind what we have, but no alcohol, please. Neither of them can drink. It's a real pity. Uh, I've still got some sparkling water here. Anything goes, huh? Oh dear. This is a chef's worst nightmare. With no idea of your customers' palates, you're left to make a wild guess. Still, now that you've worked in the kitchen for so many days, I have faith that you'll be able to figure it out. Go on, show them what you've got. Judging from the look on your face, you've already figured it out. All right then, go ahead and show them what you've got.
delicious. Perfectly seasoned, and even the rice is bursting with flavor. Nothing like a piping hot meal served straight from the stove. I've missed this. <laughs> You've put the finest Favonian field rations to shame, and that's no mean feat. So, tell us, traveler, what's this one called? It's Cubs! Um... Paimon's guessing we can't just call it anything goes, right? Oh, hell, Paimon doesn't know how to explain this dish at all! It's got no name, it's just basic ingredients simply cooked! Basic ingredients simply cooked? Really? I could have sworn that you put something fancy in here, or gave it some kind of chef's magic touch. Not the finest dish in the world, but the one they need right now. Okay, you've lost Paimon. What do you mean? So you mean, we only think this is delicious because we're so hungry? Hmm, there's got to be more to it than that. Perhaps the fact that the aroma of freshly cooked hot food is a welcome change from cold pre-prepared rations. Oh, kind of like the feeling of waking up to the smell of freshly baked bread in the morning? Huh, that makes sense. Yeah, it's almost like we're back at Good Hunter again. Uh, but Good Hunter's in Mondstadt. Why make a point of trying Lele cuisine if you can't even taste the difference? Oh, I'm not talking about the taste. I just meant the feeling of comfort, you know? It's like the feeling of coming home. Comfort? Coming home? Well, Yan Xiao did say we want to make our guests feel right at home. So, in other words, the secret ingredient is passion? Despite how terribly cliched that sounds, I'll admit that it holds true for this meal. <laughs> well played. Mark my words, I'll remember this recipe. Okay, but you can't really have a recipe without a name though, right? Have we come up with a name for this dish yet? Hmm... How about... Right at home. The rations we brought were adapted for my signature moon pies. To come up with something even tastier. I gotta hand it to you. You did a great job. Still, please do drop by and try a few Stormcrest pies next time you're in town. I insist. Hmm. Ah, uh, sorry. I zoned out just now. Didn't see you coming. Yeah, that food you cooked for us just now? It reminded me of the meals my grandfather used to make for me. I thought I'd forgotten how they tasted, but it all came rushing back. He used to make Liyue dishes all the time. I'd do my outrider training with him until the evening, then wait patiently at the dinner table. I'd sit there with the smell of delicious food wafting in from the kitchen, waiting for him to finally emerge with the goods. Sometimes we'd have Eula around for dinner, and even though she'd always find something to complain about, I could tell she really enjoyed the food. <laughs> Your words, not mine. Don't ask her about it. She'll only give you another earful. Back when I was on the expedition with the Grand Master, I was often put in charge of cooking. Under the circumstances, I could only cook some pretty crude meals. But everyone still enjoyed them a lot. Maybe passion was the secret ingredient then too. There you are. Thank you for all of your hard work over the past few days. <laughs> Straight down to brass tacks, are we? Here. Take it. I've thrown in a little extra as well. Call it a bonus. Hard work is rewarded here. Yay! It's like all the tiredness and stress have suddenly melted away. I'm just lucky you only worked on this job for a few days. 
At the rate you were progressing, a few more weeks and I think I might be made redundant. <laughs> Anytime. Bring some friends with you next time, and I'll show you all what Smiley Yunshao can do when working with both hands intact. Great! Although, just to be on the safe side, cook carefully in the meantime. You may have just jinxed it again. Yeah.